you mean, Big Mouth Bella? I don't know what she's doing taking people there. She doesn't even fucking know, though. Sausage. You're about to fucking find out. You're about to find out. This this could go really good or really bad. Really good, really bad. I'm nervous. Yeah, we got a house, yeah. Ego isn't live, so suspense is... <laughs> nervous because I don't know how this is going to play out. Nah, that's all right. Baby. Speak up, Aaron. Hello. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, I was saying we could chuck someone in a boot. Do you know? Uh, like do you know Vinewood thing. Hills, the big lake? The oh, lake yeah, at yeah. Vinewood Hills. Does anybody know where that is? It is in the film. Oh. The lake at Vinewood Hills. Sorry. It's Vinewood, go up, and you'll see the big lake. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. You come with? Who are you come with? Alone or with Mikey? They're dropping me off. All right, cool. All right, sweet. We'll see you on the. We'll be on the pier there. On the pier. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Soon. Bye. Um, John. Mm. Ring Sylvester. Tell him to come to five hundred and know what I mean. Five hundred. Yeah, just ring Sylvester. Say, so cousin said to come five hundred. You'll understand. Keys and stuff sorted out for your house? Nah, we got to do. We literally put every penny into it. At least you got it now. That's the important thing. Yeah, we get the keys done. Hopefully by the end of the day. Yeah, what a three and a half each, I think. About that, yeah. It's fucking ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, I got the money for me. Oh, oh wow, Mr. Selfish over here doesn't even look up. Exactly. Yeah. I don't even. I don't even have enough for exactly. a give one of them. I wish I could. He rang him. Yeah, he he didn't answer. I think he's busy right now. Give him another minute. I'll ring him. Why oh, you do that? I'm gonna mess with. Uh... Huh. 
I'm fucking sitting on. At the moment, me and Bella have. What, like we're both broke as fuck, but we're sitting on like 50 grand in just unwashed cash and gems and what? rolls. And... What? Watch out, that doesn't fucking degrade. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on it. It's not too bad, but it does need to start to get pushed. Wait, 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 okay. Do you mean like all jewelry or just something else? No, it's a mix. It's a mix of washed cash, jewelry, and um, rolls. Wait, okay. In total, rolled cash and mix uh the rolls and wash cash how much do you have right there in total yeah so, so, wash and rolls Give me uh, an wash wash cash i've got uh eleven thousand. Uh huh uh rolls i can't remember i have to ask bella because oh, she's got it and jewelry we have no, about two thousand don't say that we're not robbing you plus we're um don't 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 wait wait, wait don't hit him don't bump him not robbing them. What? See? See? Put your fucking hands up! <laughs> Put your hands up! Right meow! Oh, oh, it's, it's them. Oh, never yeah. mind. <laughs> I didn't see hey the guys. Yo. Hey guys! This is Mikey, hey, um, Sophie, and Ben. Nice to meet you. Hello. Yo. Hello. Hey, I know Mikey, but you two, I know, I, I, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know. Wait, it's obvious. I take all your shit in it. Yeah. So that's Sophie and that's Ben. Well, I'm doing good. How you doing? Why is he hanging up the fucking cool. phone? Just give him a minute. You're he... him near water. It's a bit suspicious, isn't it? Yeah. Just give him a minute. He's we're, thinking we're it is big bell, head. Bell. I'm you know? sorry you had to, find to be out fair, this, this is pretty suspicious. I'm what? not gonna kill him, but this is suspicious, isn't it? Yeah. It, yeah. Right. Now that you mentioned um, it, like when she said it, it she's a little bit, you know. I was like, let's like, meet. He's going swimming. Yeah, but yeah, but the only thing yeah. is, <laughs> this is this place is something to us. That's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. but you know, but you're telling someone, you know. Come yeah. you said the peers like yeah. Well, to be fair though, if he long walk on a yeah, but if you tier. say that, yeah. if he trusts me, he should turn up. If he doesn't, then yeah, it's yeah. done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a good faith and trust, isn't it? If he trusts me, he'll turn up. Sure. If he doesn't if trust me, just you know, just ask me to to meet them at a pier. I would start thinking, okay, someone is in yeah. some kind yeah, of trouble. Yeah, but come on, let's. <laughs> But look at the view. Eyes. Look at the view. Oh, what yeah. a lovely place to have True. a conversation. It is. Yeah. You know, this is what oh, they did in Godfather yeah. too. You know, they bring out like a little kaimo. They they fucking. Very saggy. Uh, you know, they they fish and then you know. Yeah. Right the back of the head. A canoe. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Uh, what's what's he doing, John? Uh, he's thinking in his big big head. You know. Oh, Fantastic. No. Yeah, let's move this fucking. Okay. Can you please stop fucking griddying? Oh, I'm gonna stab him. It's a special situation. Can he not be gangster for five seconds? No! I'm hitting him. Oh shit! Fuck, get away! Fuck off, you had a go at him yesterday. Huh? You had a go at him yesterday. Did I? Yeah. I can't I remember. Bored. John. Yeah. This is one of them, um, Bella, don't you fucking dare. So, so, so if Bella does it, I can't hit her. I can't hit her. So if Bella does it, she's fine, but with me, it's terrible. No, this she's. Oh, no, shush. Yo. Come on. Can you come to 500, please? Yeah. See you soon. Right, you're gonna have to get your friends to leave, please. Okay, okay. Where did they go? Where the fuck did two others yeah. went? Mikey! Uh, they went it's up best the stairs. to go up, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go up the yeah, stairs. Yeah, go up there. Yeah, just go up there. No, just take, Hello, I'm, take the car I'm and... I'm just gonna take the car and go yeah, around. I'll right, go come on, guys. Okay, I hope this isn't the end. I hope he doesn't walk away. To find out, yeah. Let's see what he has to say about your story, though. What a bloody legend! And he's big up for the gifted sub. It's gonna be a rough one. It's, it's gonna be to fucking have. rough. Right, can we can we just have what ten minutes? Ten minutes.
Ten minutes of what? You know. What? Silence. Just say it. No, not even silence. Just let's deal with what we got to deal with. You can go back to fucking okay, around. But, okay, look. Coming into this, can you just listen and not be so stubborn? Because he's going to be stubborn. Yeah, he's going to be, you yeah. Really, um... You really need to work with him here. And he, be open. No, he needs just... to He needs to work with uh, us. Uh, I'm not being stubborn, am I, fucking YR? Uh, yeah, that is pretty That is pretty true, I can't lie. It's, what? Um, it's like he's, he's stubborn, and if, you, if, like, if you're not stubborn as well... Then I'm a bitch. He's going to just... You... Look, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad if you like listen. If you're not stubborn, he is. He's gonna like have his way. If you're both stubborn, it's probably gonna end in a clash. I'm not being it. stubborn. I'm telling him the way it is. Hey, let's just sit down and we'll just do our campfire. You can sit down all you want. I ain't sitting down. Oh my god. Just want to smoke. I'm gonna tell him the terms, but it depends. <sighs> If he rung the fucking police or not, I want to hear the side of the story. And I want to know why he done that yesterday, because he fucked us up. Can I my head for a minute? Yeah, yeah. Mm. One minute. Oh, you screwed us. We're going to die. Okay. I miss Lou Bin Bin. Who's Lou Bin Bin? My Asian friend, I knew oh. a few years back. You should try to try to bring him into the city. He's in fucking Guangzhou, China, right now. He has he's doing business there, so I don't think he has. To be honest. Bella, was a guy named Mister Wong with you before? I haven't seen I haven't seen Wong? I haven't seen Mr. Wong in a long time. Yeah, I've not seen him. I haven't seen, I haven't seen him either. Last time I seen him is uh, last time I oh, seen him was like on yeah, like a, maybe two for me. I haven't seen him since January. Fucking old bastard. I mean, last time I seen him was like what me, Cosney, Sylvester, and him. We we're gonna go rob senior buns, but then he backed out. But not rob senior buns. We we're gonna go like kill someone. Him and Salim were each other, and they knocked me out and robbed me. Nice. I haven't seen that. that. I haven't seen that other guy that either. That's is it, Sam? I haven't seen him either. That used to hang around with Mr. Wong and Sylvester. Someone's buying jewelry. If y'all want to sell y'all's jewelry. Nah, we want the rep. Who's uh? Who the fuck is Sam? Right. Oh yeah, I remember Sam. It's very dark in no pixel. How much is he buying it for? Uh, you want me to call him and say it? Yeah, I'm not sure how much they're going right Just, uh, series. if you want to call him, I don't know. To be fair, if you, if if they're going to do big runs and they can pay you what you get for a 200 in clean, that's... Even if they paid like a thousand clean per 200, that's not that bad. Yeah, well, you have uh, a lot to get rid of. So, but, I heard that uh, on the yellow pages that you're buying jewelry. Saying that, I done 200 oh, runs earlier. It took me about an hour right to clear 10k's worth. And if you don't, most of the jobs, you just wind your window down and pull up to the door, throw the box yeah. out, and they pay you, and you they can't no stab you. You no problems with it? Nope. John did, though. Oh, what John, happened? John got fucked up. By him? Oh, yeah. So if you can, oh, the local stop now, yeah. Yeah. So if you can, wind down your window and just pull up to the door and do the deal through the door. Uh, how much jewelry do y'all have, by the way, Aaron? About two thousand. Fuck. Mm. 
Yeah, I would make eight grand because he's gonna do five per a box. That's shit. Yeah. yeah. Thing is, if you just don't want to do it at all, you can just sell it like that. Well, what do you want to do, Bill? No, nah, we'll think about it later. Just go and just go and smash first. it out together. Mm. You need to get it done. Yeah. It, it doesn't take that long. Same. Oh, there, there he is, I think. Mm -hmm. How are we all like standing so it's not like weird? Stand how you fucking want. Can I make a circle? No. Square? No. Triangle? Tri tri I was gonna say triangle. Just stand there <laughs> and look pretty. He's not liking the fucking. Where are you standing there? Hi! Don't do that. What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> doesn't want to come down here. Should I go it's greet him? He might be putting his sunglasses on. Maybe. Yeah, but he's weird. I'll go meet him. You want? She's walking like she's going to fucking beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Gangster. She's walking proper big and butch, isn't she? Bosh. Some fucking pasta, I can't lie. Probably after this, I'm gonna head down to the apartment and just eat. I'm really Ev hungry. Everyone's eating here, yeah? No one's gonna pass out. No, like, I know. But I just wanna go back to my apartment. Yeah, and yeah. Eat. Yeah, yeah. Pasta. Yes, and I get chicken you. strips. I get ya. Fuck, maybe some, you know, side some, uh, some cheese and bacon fries. Gonna be morbidly obese by two months. The fuck are you saying over there? I don't know. <laughs> are you dumb? What? You fucking, you scared him. Time to stop being such a soft cunt. No. No. Why did you pick here? He either comes down or he doesn't. Simple as that. I picked Do you realise it... how fucking scary this is? Water, and this is where yeah, you apparently I... killed someone. Like, how yeah, I, I can't lie. We we did we did kind of done someone. Right, is he a big man or is he not? Would you not be nervous walking towards five people in a body? Like, hundred percent. Where you put a body in? Hundred percent. But I wouldn't have a fucking reason to walk up to my friends in the middle of nowhere. That's the difference. You get me? You get me. I wouldn't have a reason no. to be fucking scared. I mean, there's been a bunch of drama, a bunch of shit talk. Right, okay. So, yeah. He knows me better than to smash his head in. Listen, as soon as you said to me here, I was like, oh my god, that's where fucking Sylvester's gonna end up with a puddle. We all thought straight away, that's what's gonna happen. And that's cool. what he's thinking right now. He can think that all he wants, he should know me better. You think I'm gonna stitch him up? If I was gonna kill him, I'd tell him I was gonna kill him. And he knows that. I hate this already. I'm just going to dive in the water and drown myself, to be honest with you. Just go and get him. No, you go get it. You go and get him. There's the meat. No, you go get him. get him. He can fucking come down here. It's fuck oh, me. you are too stubborn. You will downfall of yourself, honestly. That's it, all I'm saying. I'm gonna, why is it, down here, I'm being quiet. Why is it yeah, always I'm placed on me? What, because I've told him to meet here and he won't walk down. What, do you want me to go in there and get him? Like everything else, go and collect him like we always do. Go and collect Sylvester. And go like meet him and like, oh, I'll wait, let's go chat, no? Oh, Jesus. Now we're fighting a lot of fucking stuff. Literally, we're, we're fucking arguing whether a fat fuck will walk down a bank. <sighs> Jesus Christ.
Everyone put your fucking weapon yeah, on can't... the floor. Put your weapon on the floor. Yeah, I, I can't lie, this would be a fucking terrible spot to... Uh, put the weapon on the floor. Someone. Cap. You just... <laughs> I just threw it in the lake. What? Oh, no, it's here. What do you mean? Oh. It's right here. Aaron, have you got a weapon? What is that in your weapon? So if you put your wrench on the floor, make sure you place it and don't throw it or punch anyone. If you put your wrench on the floor, then why was there a plop? Because I threw it. Yeah, I saw that too. Maybe a fish. Put your weapons on the floor, everyone. Please. Don't pick it up. Yeah, I'm holding them because I'm not going to use any. Back on everyone them. put their weapons on the ground. Ev everyone pass them to Bella. Yeah. There you go, Bella. You got one on you, Sylvester? Of course he does. Mm. Of course okay. he does. No, don't. Pass your weapon to Bella. That's me if you don't trust me. Go on. We're not gonna do that, no, Sebastian. Come on. Cosney doesn't believe me. Search me. If you really don't trust me that much, put your hands in my fucking pockets. We just oh, came here to talk. No, come on. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. It's okay. Come no. On, let's talk. Your hands no, no, not, not until you go in my pockets, because you don't believe me. I believe oh, you. I'm, I'm sure if you had a wrench, I'm sure I'd see it. Put your hands down. He's just being stupid. Don't worry about him, Sylvester. You know him. No, I'm just saying. I'm not here to fucking hit anyone, and that's not the case. Yeah. That's why I right. put it all on the floor. <laughs> what happened yesterday, Sylvester? When? Where? When you stormed off in a hissy fit. I just got fed up with being spoken to like a piece of shit. How were you spoken to like a piece of shit? You constantly, every time I hear you speak, you constantly tell me to shut up. I said you were loud. Yeah, and you say that like five times a day every day. You are very loud. I'm just a loud person. And you called me boring and I called you annoying. No, I'm not bothered about that. So what bothers you? You're telling me I'm loud constantly every time I talk because it makes me feel like what do I do? Just sit there in silence? No, you're just very, very loud. It's more of like a acknowledgement that you're loud. But why why would you jump out the truck all over that? Because I wasn't I had fed up of it. You're fed up of it? Yeah. Fed up of what? Speaking to people like a piece of shit half the time and always having to go at everyone. Who do I speak to like shit? Me. So you're everyone now, are you? I didn't say everyone. I said I'm fed up with you speaking to everyone like yeah. a piece of shit. Yeah. I'm everyone, yeah. I'm the everyone in this situation, correct? Do I speak to anyone else? Do I speak to you like shit? You just do it as a stupid way of me being dumb, but I don't really care too much. Yeah. I just, see it as I just see it as banter as well. I get stressy, yeah. but I think we can all agree that nine times out of ten, I have to keep you nutters organized to the best extent, which still doesn't work. You I do. do one thing is you do love us all. Oh yeah, and we banter. I mean, I've I've called you far worse than annoying, but I don't really see that as a reason to jump out of a moving vehicle and then fuck up the rest of our day you can fuck up any of your day you carried on the normal right no because we didn't have the stuff you had it i had, I had like 30 percent of what we had no you didn't yeah i do no you didn't you had loads yeah i still got it I mean, it's not disappeared into the fucking abyss is it yeah but you knew that we had the plan to hit it that night the plan to hit what? You knew that we were going to do that job with the lockpick that you had and the thousand gems. Yeah, and I gave you the lockpick. But we didn't have the gems. You had a thousand gems. We didn't. You did? No, we didn't. Yes, you did, because you said you had enough for two runs. We didn't have a thousand. We had to go and fucking borrow it to try and pull it off. We had to borrow more gems off of someone else because we didn't have enough, and then we had to buy another lockpick. 
Why did you buy another lockpick? Because you had the lockpick. I gave it to Bella. Yeah, but before that, you weren't handing nothing over, so we had to no, go and buy another. No one asked me for the lockpick. You asked me for the gems, and I said no. It's not the case of who knows what. You know you had it, didn't you? Yeah, but no one asked me for it. What What are you, 12 years old? No. You know Why what... Nobody not make logical sense before you went and spunked another $1,500. Go, oh, do you know what? Why don't we ask Sylvester if we can get it? Because we already asked but, you for the gems and you said no, so the, you wouldn't be willing is, to Sylvester. give a lockpick, would you? Well, I you didn't. Did. The thing is, Sylvester, you didn't want to talk to Cosby, and you told him you didn't want to talk to him at all. Yeah, it's true. So it fucked up our day. That. And right. it, it was over nothing. You're, you're no, 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 I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say my feelings are nothing. I mean, that's quite disrespectful if you think that. I, I couldn't give a fuck. Uh, there lies the problem. Well, no, I, I couldn't give a fuck yeah, if there you there get... There the problem. You don't give a fuck about anyone else's feelings but yourself. Anyone else agree with that? I'm happy to take it if that's the case. Please, please, by all means, if you want to turn on me, go ahead. Be no fucking... one's turning on no you. No one's turning on you. We're just, we're just telling you how we feel. Well, I'm no, telling you, you how I feel. Well, no, I want, no, at this moment in time, you are. I want to see if it's a collective. Is it we or is it you? Fuck knows, but everyone's so far up your arsehole that they can't even see the sunshine. Anyone up my arsehole here? Everyone. I wouldn't say I am. I'm not either. No, I wouldn't. I think what the thing is, I can understand from Sylvester's Sylvester's point of view, being told that you're loud constantly when you can't do nothing about it, it does put you in a bit of a situation where you're like, well, what the fuck do I do? I can't change how loud I am, so it makes me not want to speak. It makes me feel like people don't want to be around me when I'm constantly being told that I'm loud. You know what I mean? Yeah, understood. But then it's vice versa. We have to deal with it, and it's more of a trying to be a polite reminder. It's loud. That's why I left you yesterday. You didn't. Ju you didn't there you go. just left. You said, you, you said that there, is a pro there is another problem, which is the reason why I left yesterday. We have to fucking deal with it. So it was a polite reminder because I can't be asked dealing with it. Therefore, Sylvester removed himself from the situation, so you didn't have to deal with it. And all of a sudden, I've done what you really want, and it's a big fucking issue. But I want you to jump out of a truck and fuck off. Yeah, because. Like you just said, we have to deal with it for fuck's sake. Oh no. Yeah. And I, I do deal with it most times. Most sometimes it's just a little reminder to see in case you don't know. I always know. Okay. Well, I'm just letting you know you're loud. You might not know. Personality. Well, yeah. We, we can all be loud. We also. It is Go on. He didn't mean it as a disrespect to us, or so you can shut up. It's like, he wanted you to, like, what, what's the thing? Like, try to, like, try to fix your voice box and, like, try to help out with it. Because for a lot of people, it's not like you're being annoying at all. It's just, like, you're just super, super loud. For me, right now, I, I couldn't tell, honestly. I think it's just other people's ears. and they're He's very all right sensitive. right now. He's all right right now. Yeah, he's fine right now. I think it's if you're screaming. I but think the, that's the thing. The point is, it does go from it goes up and down. So it's literally yeah. just an acknowledgement of you're a bit loud right now. Yeah, so does everyone else. But yeah, they do. The way to fix that is to reset your own ears. Yeah. You're the only person that's loud around me. And it's there's no need to jump out of a vehicle for saying you're loud. Yeah, there is. Well, I I don't think there is. To him, it was because he'd reached the point where it was just like enough for him. I think okay. that's why he jumped out. But then the the trouble is, so from my point of view, things are extra loud for me, and I do just suck it up. I'm not going to jump out of a vehicle and go off oh, like this. So we right, can't. Sorry, sorry that I am. I'm the the biggest fucking child you've ever met in your life. You were acting like one yesterday. Yeah, yeah, of course I was. You were? Yeah, of course I was, yeah. Sorry, 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 Daddy Cosney. That's, that's absolutely fine. Apology accepted. Now, I want to ask what... Suck your dick? No, I'm absolutely fine. I get on my knees? 
No. no. Let's, not, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Come on, let's try and oh. just keep it. The biggest it. hunk of a man I've ever seen in my life. You could do. Feel your ego more? You could oh. do that. I'd I'd actually enjoy that bit. Now, could you tell me what happened with YR the other day as well, please? When? On the pier. It was like a week ago. Um. That when we do the jewelry run? No, 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 no. It was no, like a so... week ago. Okay, you remember the pay slip? I'll give you a reminder. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a reminder. So we we'll we went to Senior Bonds. No one was there. We clocked on. Did uh, made our food, dipped out. John get, uh, John had a bunch of pay slips. You said give it to me. He gave it to you. I had pay slips, like two fucking pay slips. What what? Sixty bucks. You said give it to me. I said no. You stopped the car. You wouldn't move the car if until I gave you the pay slips. I still said no. We went back and forth, and you drove the car off of the pier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's quite funny, actually. It cost me 600 bucks. I can't wait. Oh, no, yeah, well, you should Anyways, have given me the fucking... But besides the... That's the $90 in pay slips, actually, yeah. What else happened? Oh. Uh, I... Yeah. Well, just chasing with YR. Uh, that's what happened. I was chasing YR and said I was going to get him. Uh, when I got, we got out of the ocean, he hit me with a wrench. Uh, said he was going to kidnap me. So I phoned the police. Never said I was going to kidnap you. He was never a, said I was he, gonna if he did you. say that, he was doing it as a joke because we was going to take you to the hospital. And then I got picked up by the police, took to the hospital, didn't make a statement because I pleaded the fifth and nothing went. And you rang me up 15 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever minutes after that saying $1,000 I'm going to snitch on you. Yeah, I said that, but at that point I was already well away from the police, yeah. So he just fucking swindled me over a thousand bucks. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You can call me Mr. Conman if you want. Alright, so... <clears throat> so what I'm seeing is... Anything that happens, it has to be on your terms. Okay, but anything that we do, we say... It's not acceptable. Is no. what I've been seeing for the past, like, month. Or two, I've been with you guys. Oh, really? Mm. I'm just psychotic, That's... and everyone knows that. Yeah, but to an extent, there's an extent to yeah, I'm it. I'm a psychopath. I'm, I'm, I've actually been diagnosed as a psychopath through Tanner okay. and Jane. Alright, psychopath or not, there's one thing you fucking cross the line. And I think you know it. So crossing the line would have been getting you arrested because I made a statement. No, crossing the line is calling the police and what happens if I was there? Even though I wasn't, but still, what happens so if I was there? can I ask you a question? Ask me a question. So that happened about three weeks ago. Yeah? So, and we, we discussed it after. We, yeah. we did we not discuss it. We didn't did really discuss it. No, 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 no. You've spoken, so now it's my time to fucking speak. Oh, so okay. you shut your mouth or fucking listen. Right? So we, yeah, so that happened about three weeks ago. We spoke about that after because I was with you and John. You went and fucked off to Mosley's for the day. The next day we spoke about it and we were hanging around together again. So why is it taking you three weeks to grow a set of bollocks as soon as Cosney gets back and bring it to me? If you had a big it's problem with it to start off with, then why didn't you mention it straight away? Because if you're a big man like you've not, you're fucking talking like right now, then why didn't you bring it up as soon as you had a fucking problem? Hmm? Why is it all of a sudden that you have to wait for the boss to have an issue with me, but also you bring it out? I thought because we had if I mentioned it to you. Because if I mentioned it to you, like, there's, there's gonna be like no point. If right. I mentioned it to the fucking guy that's been leading us this entire time and trying to make the goals for us. No, okay. The, 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 He's the gonna point. see the problem in us. No, the real point isn't there. Because if you've got an issue with it, then it could have been dealt with three weeks ago, rather than you sitting on your hands, not talking about it. And all by by the sound of it, for the last three weeks, you fucking hated me. You didn't want to be around me because you didn't trust me. But all of us said you were still going to act like my best mate. Yeah? Well, the only way that this works as, as a group is if everyone's got complete transparency and is open and honest about everything. 
But if you're gonna sit there for three weeks, right? And not fucking not say that you hate me or you don't want to be around me, so why the fuck am I gonna trust you again? When you turn around and say that you don't that you wanna be around me and that that you still have my back. If someone's got a problem with me, we're all fucking adults here. We've all got hairy fucking balls. Why don't you fucking bring it to me? And we'll discuss it. And we'll sort the issue out and we'll fucking move on. Got anything to say, Liar, or what? No, that's really about it. Just wait, one more. If I were to call the cops on you, what are you gonna do about it? That's the one thing I wanna know. Nothing. What happens if it's like you, a vice versa? If you had a statement, absolutely nothing. It doesn't change my life. Yeah, but you gotta you to see make a statement, exactly. Uh, get questions and been arrested, then yeah, it does change my life. And uh, straight away, then you're a snitch, right? But I, I called the yeah, police and said, "How about I'm getting kidnapped?" They arrived and they said, "What happened?" I said, "I don't know." There was some guy. Um, he was he was dressed in a weird outfit and he ran away. Yeah, but again, what happens if I was if I was to get caught? Did you? Like, still, caught, caught, caught or not no. caught, still, you, the, you the, phoned the The thing the he's saying, uh, Sylvester, is, like, say he was still there, okay, you called the cops and stuff. Were you 100% going to tell them it was yeah. him? Okay, that that's that's what we was kind of worrying about, and that's what we wanted to talk about. We're not saying that we hated you and such. We, for that past week, I'll tell you 100%, we was a little upset about it, but we forgot about it. We just mentioned it and talked about it. The only reason we did not do anything with you for that past week was to do Mosley's and get money. Because Mosley's was getting paid good money, and we was doing it. That's the only reason. Nothing. We did not hate you. Nothing. If In your mind right now, you say, oh, we was talking bad about you. No. A hundred percent no. We, we love and care about you, Sylvester, but it's just... It, it's hard because it's sometimes... To be honest, it's a little difficult, but we love you and we care about you, you know? Yeah, yeah, it feels like it. I can say, uh, when I've been hanging out with them, they've already said good things about you, Sylvester. Like, when uh, I came to meet your senior buns and they ended up coming in and robbing the guys, I was a bit like, what the fuck, Sylvester, you always out. They're like, yeah, but it wasn't like that, it wasn't like that, you know? He just called us and said there was people there, so we came and did it. Like, they have good things to say about you. No one's talked shit about Listen, it. we're not Tell children. If we've got something to say to him, we'll say it to him. Clearly not. I haven't hidden anything. What do you want me to tell you? Not you, but clearly your boys have. Well, they've, they've, I think they've stayed out your way and have been pretty pissed off. Yeah, but so, 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 so your, your, your point of we're not children, if we've got anything to say, we'll say it. It's completely out of the fucking window. You might. I might. They don't. Well, to be, to be fair, I think that is pretty fucking serious. And how they choose to deal with it, then so be it. I wouldn't say he stood here with his billy big bollocks like a man. He's just bringing it up again. If it yeah, was dealt... Three weeks later. Well, it's probably about a week. No, it's not. It's, it's about literally three weeks. Well, I would... About two, I... two days after you left? Three days? Is that right? No, that's like a week, two weeks. Well, yeah, because it was a week later. I didn't even see you guys because you were doing Mosley's for a whole week. But it would have been in the first week that Cosley went away. Regardless of time, I don't think it matters. If that's a situation that happened months ago or a long time ago, it doesn't matter, yeah. If they want... if, it's, if it's caused a ruckus within the within our relationship or what working relationship, then it should have been brought up a lot sooner. But to be totally honest, and I, you're probably going to disagree because you're your own person. But I think if someone done that to you, you'd probably kill them. No. You've you've killed people for crashing into your car. Yeah. Yeah, random people. Yeah. What, what about, what's his name, Adam? You literally held a knife to his neck because he hit your car. Yeah, because, no, 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 no. I had a knife to his fucking neck because at the, at the time I was one of the, mo the most wanted man within the city. It was either the day after you got fucking shot. 
I was the most wanted man in the fucking city, and Adam decided to turn around to someone that was hanging around with Solomon and went, oh, by the way, he's got a bounty on his head for fucking 5k. Oh, he did do that. He 100%. You didn't, I, I tell, me, you didn't tell me that at the I time. I told you that on the phone, straight away. I don't remember yeah, that. Yeah, he did, he did say that. I forgot about that whole entire thing. You just told me he crashed into your car. No, I didn't. I called, I told you he crashed into my car, and then I explained the situation afterwards, but every time I speak to you, you switch off after about 30 seconds. Oh, I don't remember that. I'll take your word for it. I don't remember that. John was fucking there. He can tell you I'm not bullshitting. Yeah, I, know, just... he, he, I just did. He uh, he did do that. Uh, I'll be honest with you, he did do that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying he didn't, but I'm just saying I don't remember him telling me. It was like a... Honestly, like a month ago. No, I know. I know when it was, John. Oh, really? Yes, John. He told me about the car crash. But I'm saying about the hit. I didn't know that. Oh, oh. Okay. That's what I'm saying. But if he told me, I'll take his word for it. I can't, I'm not arguing over it. Who said what? So, can I ask you? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. So, me talking to the, me me calling the police was a big big deal, right? Hmm. What about? You. What about me? What about you that may or may not be handing information off to someone who may or may not be giving it to the police? Who? I don't know. Speak about it, who? I don't want to say any names because I don't want him to get hurt. Let's who? just say it. Who? Can you remember? Remember when we had that problem with Solomon? And we were sat on a roof, me and you. We were sat yeah. on a roof in the car and that guy was walk walking over everything. Yeah. And I had to convince you not to call your guy. You may pass that information on to the police. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. had to convince you not to do it. What's the difference between me calling the police and you giving information to someone that you know is going to get in the hands of the police? Because this guy's not an informant and it was a backup plan for someone that's not associated or a friend of mine by any means. That is completely different. That no, was he's a not back an informant. Well, what I'm saying is the YR is not an informant. And you I talking to an informant is no different from me talking to the police. No, me talking to a guy who's not associated by the police, but that was a backup plan in case shit went south. That's completely different. I don't think it is. I'll, I'll tell everyone here right now, and they can chip in what they want to say. I'll be honest. Like, if I if I gave information directly to the police, there's an issue. If I gave information to someone who I knew would pass that directly on to the police as well. That's also kind of an issue. He could do, potentially, yeah. But at this moment yeah. in time, he's a private investigator, and that was if the fact I die, the information that I know is left with someone that can deal with it. Uh, it the thing is, it's not that if we tell the police on someone, it's with us. Like, say, you told the police about me. That's the problem. It's not with everyone else. I don't know if y'all want to talk to the police at all about stuff. I don't know. No, it's not oh, no. like that. It's not like that. It's not a direct link to the police. I have a contact that is aiming to be in the police. Okay? Now, the plan was, when things went sour, and they were getting very, very bad, would there have been a backup place thing in place with information for someone to collect should I die? Like a backup plan. And he what he does with that information is completely down to him. But that was just a backup plan, and Sylvester was fully against it. But I I kinda wanna flip that back on you. If you felt so passionate about that, why would you ring the police on one of your own boys? It's kind of the same thing. Because I know I weren't gonna say nothing, so it doesn't matter. But how, how would I how would I have known that? But you would have done it if you would have spoke to me, which clearly you, you, you don't feel like you can do. So I'll tell you from what yeah, I hear from my point of view. You said you were going to kill or attack YR. So John then phoned YR to say, look, he's going to do something to you, hence why YR got to you first. And I believe you're the one that drove off the pier. The drive off the pier has got nothing to do with anything. It's pretty dangerous, but yeah. Yeah, but so is everything that we do with our shanks, but you still love that. 
With what? Asterix. Oh yeah, it is, yeah. That's putting friends in danger and then you want to try and hit someone with a weapon and you've you've hit me a few times with a weapon as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, which I think between friends, there's, there's a punch and there's a fight and there's a whatever and a tussle or a headbutt. I think that's a pretty fair game, but when you're using a weapon, like... Yeah, anything else but a weapon. Like, anything else, like, a little punch, a little tackle, you know, it's fine, but, like, with a weapon, it's like... You intend to kill someone you hang around with, potentially. Yeah, that's why, that's why we was worried about it. So, <clears throat> from what I'm seeing, there's a lot of back and forth, but there's it needs to be resolved here and now, or we're never gonna get anywhere. I agree. It's like fucking, we gotta like, like we gotta just fucking tell the goddamn new leaf and and with some fucking ground rules because right now. We have been running all over the fucking island with no rules between us. Yeah, that's true. And, yeah, but we don't, we don't, I, every fucking... I don't, I don't really necessarily agree with that at this moment in time. It might change in the future, but I would say stabbing your boys doesn't need to be a ground rules. I'd say that's common. No, like, I, I don't, like, I, like, what I mean is, like, between us is, like, okay, we're gonna fucking have a scuffle here, yeah, no weapons. We're gonna have a scuffle, no phoning the police, no matter. Like, yeah, but that should that should be obvious, why are shouldn't it? That should be obvious. Yeah, yeah but yeah, uh, it's obvious. But but at the time, no one fucking knew about it. So, but now we're gonna have to set it like officially. I don't even. Yeah, I I get what you're saying, but that shouldn't even be a ground rule. Don't ring the police on your friends. Do we need? Do we really need a rule about that? It's like it's like a, look. We had like well, it's like a fucking unwritten rule. Like okay, it's. But sometimes you fucking I, forget. I get what like you're saying, mate. You I get what you're saying. But if you get what you're saying, just say, yeah, fine, there's an unwritten rule. Don't fucking stab each other and don't call the police. Simple. But it's kind of common sense, Bella. But just then, just say it. Okay, it's an yeah, unwritten just rule. Say common it. sense. I get, from... I get what you're saying. Just say, yes, as an unwritten rule, guys, no more stabbing each other, wrenching each other, or calling the police. Thank you. Okay, yeah. And then it's done. There yeah. you go. And unwritten rule, guys, don't stab each other or call the police in case you didn't know. Fuck's sake. Thanks for telling me because I didn't know. <laughs> Clearly. Now we all know, yay! <laughs> Progression. And so you know, Sylvester, whatever we say to each other, you, you probably already noticed, whatever we say to each other, we're just being stupid and just being misfits, being dumb to each other. We're still friends no matter what. You know that, right? Yeah, I just don't know. You, you just... You couldn't handle it or what? No, I just feel like I'm a burden. You're not a burden. It's... No, I am, because I can't get changed. I'm always fine. Always loud. Speak differently to everyone, so I can't really blend in. Well, you know... I can... I'm just I can the guy doesn't fit in. No, I... There's a way we could do that, Sylvester, and... I can show you how to fit in. You're, you're gonna have to wear one of those, uh, what's the card? What's the yeah, but I think them? that's that's not an issue, and if you want to play the victim card, then so be it. We... Playing the victim card, I'm just, I'm just well, you are. what you've brought up before, every time. Okay, and we oh, still yeah. go ahead. We still yeah, okay. go I'm ahead. I feel like I'm a bird, I'm not playing a victim card at all. Well, you know, let me, I'm, let I'm, me... I'm basically telling you, I'm the guy who doesn't fit in around here, and it's true. Not at all, not at all. I'm the guy that doesn't fit in no matter what. That's not the case at all. Wait, hold on, Kazi. Just wait. There, there is a way we can make it where you could like wear clothes. Uh, what's those little stretcher things like where like stretch, stretches, not stretches, like makes it where you're not fat. You know what I'm talking about? You can't do that, but you can dress as like a giant robot or something. I guess. You can put a robotic suit on. <laughs> We've got. Do you want to do that? That that issue solved. You're not a bird. If 
if we didn't want you on jobs, you wouldn't be there. So I don't even know why you feel that way. If I didn't want you there, you wouldn't be there. We, we, we threw that problem out the window, by the way, Sylvester. We want you with every job. Like, no matter what. Like, it, like if someone spots you, who cares? Like, we, we threw it out the window a long time ago. And don't ever think that, like, because you can't change clothes because they don't have it in your size. Because of that, you're a burden. No, it's it's just we can't do much about it. But so we'll still run with the punches, you know? That's exactly it. And he knows that. If it was that much of an issue, I'd be making you run around the track. But it's fuck all we can do about it. So you just got to get on with it. It is what it is. And we know that. I guess best way, just in case you're a little stressed. Give him some fries. Are those good or what? Boys. Okay. So, one thing I really want to know: do you do you see an issue phoning the police on YR? behind it, yeah. What do you mean? Right there, mean then I didn't. It was a joke. Didn't think anything of it. Didn't really think it through. Just sort of did it. Split second decision. Looking back on it, yeah, it was, it was a, the wrong wrong thing to do, and shouldn't have that done we, it. Yeah, we shouldn't do it to any of us. Like I, I get what he's saying that he didn't think of it the situation. He thought it would just be funny because you know Sylvester. He thinks some stuff is funny and some stuff is not. You know. It's just Sylvester, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. We guess all of us in a way. We all do dumb like things that we Yeah, we all funny. do dumb yeah. things. He thought it would be funny, but yeah. for us, we didn't think it was funny. He didn't think of it too much because, you know, we're misfits. We're kind of stupid. Yeah. And now he's listening to what he said and he's thinking back about it. And he admits that in the moment it was the wrong thing to do. So, you know, he's open to listening and talking about it. As an, outsider's point, sorry, as an outsider's point of view, I do think that you four really do work well together. And I think that, you know, if you get over these little issues and manage to smooth it all out, I think that, you know, you can get things done and you can keep working together. I don't think it has to end in some big conflict, honestly. Mm. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't, no. It doesn't. <laughs> we do well, work very well. I've become a bit calmer recently. Yeah, that is true. But after my after my head injury. Yeah, but your Dude. your your calmness isn't an issue. That's not the issue. You are who you are. If we didn't like it, you wouldn't be here. It makes us who we are. That's not an issue. The issues that are at count is so if I'm being honest, I didn't like the fact that you just fucked off yesterday of everything. If you wanna fuck off, that's absolutely fine. But you could say, right, here's your shit, I'm going. That's what I didn't like, because you knew we had that planned. So if if you want to go away and do whatever you want, so cool. Here's all your shit. I know what you're gonna do. Take it. I'm gonna it's go and do my own thing. Plan. For what? It's exactly what I told John. What? Yeah. He, at, the he at that time, I believed if I walked away and went and did senior buns, you would kill me or tell me to fuck off for good. All so of you, you have all of my money for the house, and you always have done. I've lived, I've kept enough money to, to get myself some food. That is it. My contingency plan is that if you told me to fuck off, at least I still have 10 grand to get, I'll get on with my life. See, do you know what the problem is? That tells me. I wouldn't feel I need a contingency plan. No, but I do. Why? Because of you. Why? At that split moment in time, I found like you didn't want me around. Therefore, I had to make sure I was going to be okay. So you had to hold stuff away from all of us? For you? Yeah. In case you decided you didn't want me anymore. Because I called you loud and annoying? Because, because of the way you were acting, yeah. See, that's not cool. What's not cool? We're looking after yourself. Yeah. Sorry, I've, I'm, I've given you like 45 fucking grand, Cosney. Primary River, we've all done the same here. Yeah? So what's your issue? 
with the fact that you have to walk away with the stuff. Yeah, so if, and if I didn't, if I didn't do that, and you decided that you were going to get rid of me, I would have said to start a new life on five hundred dollars. Right, you'd be dead. No, I don't know. I don't know if I would or not. If we were going to come for you, you'd be dead. I don't know. If I was going to come for you, I'd tell you. And I, I don't, I think you'd know me better than that, that I'd kill you over anything. You'd have to do something pretty fucking bad, not jump out of a truck. Because I said you're loud and annoying, you said I was grumpy for me to kill you. That says you don't trust me. To be honest? Right now, not as much as I used to. Then walk away. No. Walk away. No. So you didn't did... say you lost all of my trust. I said I don't trust you as much as I used to. Then walk away. No. You don't trust me, mate. Walk away. Because if you don't trust me, I don't trust you. That's just childish. So be it. That's that's your opinion. You're the one who just said you don't trust me as much. So I'm telling you to walk away. Huh. <sighs> I think you just need to spend we some that. time we all, we together. We all know that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not a possibility. Why is it not? Because the only way you get out of this life is six feet under in a body bag or permanently in prison. Why? Because what? that's the life you choose. <clears throat> we haven't got any rules to live by. I haven't got a rule where you leave us, you die. We you haven't. Told me. You just told me. What? You, you literally just told me. Told you what? 30 seconds ago. I said I kept a contingency plan in case you wanted me gone. Yeah. You wanted me away from the gang. You mm. said if I wanted you away from the gang, I would kill you. If I wanted to kill you, I would. That's what you just said. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. Just, no. no I didn't said. say that. If you wanted me away from the, if you wanted me away from the gang, then you would kill me. No, I you didn't. You said that literally a If I wanted ago. to kill you, you'd know about it. That, that's what he meant. Not like if he wanted you gone, like right now, he would kill you. No, he meant like if he he would tell you, too. Like, you think you think I'm gonna kill my longest landing friend in this city? Yeah. Well, then walk away. Because business is business. You don't know me very well, then. I do, and that's why Bert says that's why I believe that. Because yes. business is business, and look, look, when it comes to it. There are, there, are, there are times where you're probably in this life gonna have to. Yeah, I agree. Kill someone you don't want to kill. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, push comes to shove, you would do it because you'd have to. Not because you'd want to. I'm not saying that you'd want to kill me, no. But if you had to, you would. And I've that's just. Why I said, yeah. I've just told you to walk away. If I wanted to kill you, I would. I have said to you to walk away. I'm not going to get tell you to walk away so I can stab you in the back. Take your contingency plan and keep it. Because you don't well, trust uh, me. We was just getting... In... Oh, Jesus. Is that what you want? No, like, he doesn't want that. Is that necessary. what you want? It's not what I want at all, no. Hey, hand on, hand on heart, is that what you want? That's not what I want at all. Well, hand on heart. Why well, I say it? Because you don't trust me. Don't try and flip it on me of what I no, want. I'm not. I haven't done no, anything no, no, no. to be in this but situation. You just told me to walk away. Yeah, correct. Be because if you don't like, want it, why would you say it? It's a, like you just said, we might have to do things we don't want to do. The thing he's saying, Sylvester, is say I was to say that, okay? Like, say I don't fully really trust him. He would tell me the same thing. You, John, you, like, John, do you want to do you want to know something? I'll be totally honest with you. I don't know. I and don't you, know. I, I'm... You may not like this, but this is yeah. truthful. If you said that, I'd kill you. And I hope, I pray to God that you never turn around and say that to me. Well, I wouldn't. Because exactly. Oh so we're both on the same page. You wouldn't say it. So I hope I didn't be in a never never be in a position to do it. I've known Sylvester the longest. 
and I'm showing the respect by telling him to walk away. Because I know Sylvester would do the exact same thing. If you don't trust me, you don't trust me, I can't trust you. You said it, not me. Yeah, well, you're taking it completely the wrong way. I can't see how. You're, you're hearing what you want to hear. I'm not. Not exactly. You are. You're not. You're not hearing what I said. What I said is, right now, I don't trust you as much. Yes, as I'm, I did. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah. I not didn't say I didn't trust you at all. If I didn't trust you at all. I would have been coming here with the fucking Vargos. I I know what you're saying, but there is no reason for you to trust me any less. Why? At this moment in time, we're not on good terms. No, you're right. Why wouldn't I trust you any less? Because you shouldn't. At this moment in time, I'm stood in front of five people. Right. When I'm out there on my own, and I've got no one else, obviously. We all know that. Neither does anyone else around here. So why wouldn't I trust any of you less? I'm the one that's being grilled in front of everyone. Because you're the one who caused the issues. We've, we've discussed one issue that was a big issue. The you rest are just bitches, bit bitchy things. Yeah, okay, yeah. I can I can agree on that. We came here for a discussion where everyone, everyone would be honest. People would say what we need to say so we can move going forward and move on with our fucking life and not look at each other and go, do you know what? I really wish he would stop doing that or I really wish he would stop saying that or I really wish he would stop acting like that. Get it all out now. There's a fucking clean style slate in it. And sometimes people are going to say stuff that you don't agree with or you don't like. But at least I'm being fucking honest with you. I appreciate that's your honesty. Ever ask for, right? I appreciate your honesty massively. But when it comes down to saying you don't trust me as much, that's not a very good thing to say. And after what you said to Bella yesterday, I don't appreciate it either. Things are adding up and up that what, I don't what like. Things? What, what did I say to Bella? That I ain't your friend. No, I don't think you are. So do you not see the things that you're saying about me, and you expect me to just move on? You're my boss. I ain't your boss. You are. I ain't your boss. People ask you to work for. It's Cosney. I don't work for myself. I don't keep any money. I work for you. <laughs> you work for us. Wait. Everyone works with each other. Right now, like, say we wanted to buy a car for a person. We would put it in a bucket together. That's the group thing. It's not that it like he's the one that makes the plans right now. Well, we're just saying that he's not like he he's kind of helping us out just to understand what to do. Not being just a boss. He's technically just we're trying to come up with something. He's the one to come up with something. We just say we work for him because people know who he is. They don't know me, Sylvester. No one knows who I am. That's why, that's why we say that. If, if you fit... You're, you're, you're not my friend. Why is he not your friend, Sylvester? Because friendships end. They always come to an end. Okay, but I look what? At, I look at Cosney more like a big brother than a friend. Don't okay. fucking bullshit I'm us. Bo I'm not bullshitting you. Ask Just bollocks. let us speak a minute, Cosney. Go on, keep no, going. Fuck Sylvester. yourself then, whatever. You no, can't listen to me again and again and again. You're the fucking problem, not me. Because when I'm being honest, you don't fucking believe me anyway. So what's the fucking point? What's the fucking point of it all if I'm going to stand here and be honest with you and you're going to look at me in the fucking eyes and tell me that you don't fucking believe me anyway? What difference is that for me telling me for me telling you that I don't fucking trust you as much anymore? There is no fucking difference, is there? Let's be honest. Because you've given me reasons now. Kill me then. Right no. here, right now. Want me gone? Fucking do it. You're, you're meant to be the biggest fucking gangster in this scene. The fucking head of the mob. Cosney fucking king. That takes no shit from anyone. You want me gone? Kill me. Is, is anyone here implying to kill Sylvester? No, yeah. none of us no, are. No, no. Come on, come on, big man. Come on, the um, boss of the mob. Am I, Ooh, you're fucking worse. am I implying that I'm the biggest, baddest gangster around? 
Not really. You're meant to be the biggest, baddest gangster, so go on. Not at all. Get me gone. I do my best for the people around me and myself. I ain't the biggest gangster, and I'm... To be fair, I'm far from a gangster. We're more of a collective of friends that get up to illegal activities. We will fuck with anyone, because that's the way we are. We're unstable, but we're hardly gangsters. We never really state that we're gangsters. And I, I, I don't know why you're doing this show. Put your hands down, please, Sylvester, and just turn around. No. If you, if you looked at me as a big brother, you wouldn't have said to her yesterday, he's not my friend, he's just my boss. You are my boss. You're everyone's boss here. You're the head. Okay, but that doesn't mean I'm not a friend. You're the boss. Not okay. factually incorrect. Huh? So it's not factually incorrect, is it? Yeah. You're the boss. Okay, yeah. He's in charge, yeah. He does, you know, he it just manages he's people. The, yeah, he's just a person with the plan for now. Like, he's not a boss boss. He's just the person that comes up with the ideas. Say, if I was the one to come up with the ideas, like, with everything, would you say I'm the boss, Sylvester? No, the boss is the one that holds the money, the one that controls everything, that controls everyone. No, we put everything into a pot for right now, okay? Everything that we did was to put it in a pot for the house. Which we then, all live in. There is yeah. no I, me, whatever, it's a us thing. It's not, it, 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 it's everyone together. Not you, not me. Nothing. It's like us. we're all yeah, yeah. us. It's if it's the all city us had together. Joint bank accounts it would go into there and not to someone's personal ones, but they yeah. don't at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a better like fucking alternative if that was even a Yeah, I, I wish I wish we could do that. Like that's what we could do, like have it's our own little share. Yeah. And once we get the house, we would probably have things in the house to make it where you can grab it, like say money. Like random... Yeah, just put like a barrel in and just put the money in then if you need something we trust that you're taking it because you need it for something not to like you can waste it at the VU, you know? That's <laughs> <laughs> Well the semester goes to that VU a good minute. You know? Yeah, come on Sylvester, put your hands down please. No one's gonna hurt you. Go on and finish what you're saying, I won't interrupt. Got nothing else to say to you. You don't listen anyway. I just literally said I won't yeah, interrupt. No, you hear what you want to hear. So there's no point in Stop being a child. I'm not being a child. I've got nothing more to say to you. What were you going to say before I rudely nothing interrupted? More to say to you. Okay, see you later. We're trying, Sylvester. We was trying. He wants me gone. Come to the tow yard, get your shit, and I'll leave. That's what you want. Keep it. Nah, come get it. I don't want it. Go follow him, go talk to him. Don't let it end like this. It's weird. Please, please, Cosby, don't. Yeah. Guys, I'm not, no, no, no. I'm not a fucking bitch. I'm not being You're not fucking be stubborn. Your friend. Okay. Okay. I need to respond. Please, Cosby, before it's too late. John, honestly, get a grip, brother. No, don't tell him to get a grip. That's your issue right there. Yeah, I don't want to be a bitch. I don't want to be seen as soft. I'm a man. Wait. It's got nothing don't to do with it. I ain't chasing him. him. So you're just going to let your friend walk away? Yeah. Why am, why am I the bad person out of this? Because he's playing it's the victim. Not, it's not that anyone's the bad person that... Yeah. I think you're both just stubborn as fuck from an outside. Yeah, I'm, you're both just too I'm very, stubborn. I'm it's very, unreal. very stubborn. I'm happy by that. It's just not necessary. I'm not in the wrong here. It's not well, about being said, in the wrong. As, as I said, as I said, like fucking before we even did this, like no matter the outcome, it's still gonna be bad. So what I get I from that, some... he doesn't trust me as much. He told you yesterday, I'm the I'm the boss, I'm not his friend. He doesn't recover that now with a soft thing for the heart. Oh, he's my big brother. Bullshit. Yeah, Don't... that's understandable. Yeah. Okay. Right? But at the same time, it's just like, 
he's clearly frustrated you're frustrated and all you're doing is banging heads together and you yeah. aren't listening to each other it's just caused more and more issues listen and to now, everything he said but uh, i get that like you sort of say that but he feels like you're not because of like your uh -huh. reaction like, it's, I'm not saying you're in the wrong. I'm saying anyone's in the wrong. I'm just saying that both in from the an wrong. outsider's point of view. Yeah. So, what, so should, should I should I do my sympathy speech so you feel sorry for me now? See, is this is that... where I'll walk away now and I'll tell you to fuck off because don't speak to me like that. No, but that's what I'm don't saying. Don't speak to me like that. I'm telling you right now, do not fucking speak to me like that. When I've come here, be on your side, try and help you sort of shit out with your friend. But do you don't think? Speak to me like that. But don't do you think? Don't speak to me like that, Cosney, because you'll piss me off real quick. But do you think I want a friend to fucking walk away? Do you know what your issue is? You've got no empathy. That's your thing. I've got full you empathy. You think you're right, and you don't give a fuck about other people's feelings, and you don't want really to share your own. So you're gonna end up losing everyone because you don't fucking listen. So fuck off with your sympathy thing. I'm not buying it. I don't want it. I haven't got it. I'm not giving it to you. Well, there you go. Thank fuck. I've got full fucking empathy. Don't think so. How? Why? Where, when do I ever fuck with anyone? Whether do I not care about what they think? Do you really think that I want to get my friend to fucking walk away? The guy that I've known the fucking longer. Just because I've done it, did I want it? You didn't want to follow him because you didn't want to be a bitch. I don't want to follow him. What's that say? So how how does it make me feel when he turns around to me and says, I don't trust you as much? I don't see you as a friend. I mean that that hurts, doesn't it? The yeah, and is, I understand that, that. That was fucking was... weird that he doesn't trust you. I don't understand that. I, I don't think that he actually means it to be honest. I think he's saying it because he's hurt. Yeah. And what have we done shit when they're hurt that But what have we know. done to hurt him? That's the the whole point is that it, it doesn't the the real question is is that yeah you you got to get to the I think he feels a bit left out like. honestly I think he feels mm. left out you've been away why Aaron John have got closer they've been hanging out doing their own thing obviously they had the issue with Sylvester you've come back all you've been doing which is fair it's been working and making money I think Sylvester just wanted maybe some time alone doing different things like he's used to seen your buns fucking about so i think he's gonna a bit left out a bit lost a bit confused and then when you said yesterday that he was being loud a few times i think it just threw him over the edge and it really fucking hurt him and he's not gonna tell you that it's hurt him he's just gonna say oh well, i don't trust you but the real issue isn't what you talked about the real issue is that, yeah like what bella just sort of talked about exactly. there is that it, it, there's an underlying root cause as to why sylvester is getting frustrated but he doesn't really know how to express that frustration and yeah yeah i think he just wants some time with his boy like he used <laughs> to be he's not adjusting to the changes as quickly as you guys are and there's nothing wrong with that too like yeah. there is a, there is a point in time like when you and sylvester can just go and fucking hang out and do shit like old times like, there's nothing wrong yeah. with doing that either the problem is right Mm -hmm. And you know this environment, for the stuff that we aim to aspire for, mm -hmm. you got to get down and dirty and you got to fucking crack on. A hundred percent, and we all understand that. And mm -hmm. Sylvester does, but also he doesn't in the way of what I've just said. You know what I mean? No, I get you, but and again, I'm not doing this because I want to. We fucking mm -hmm. have to. No, and then look at the that. fucking reward that we gained today. And yeah. that's just an itty bitty fucking step. And I think, like, after today, it'd probably be good to take a day or two to just fuck around and do nothing. The, the, the trouble is, bud. Balls. The trouble is, bud. And Bella will back me up here. If we go and fuck about, we end up in fucking prison. Yeah, they end up killing people and getting arrested. We, we go to senior buns and we end up in a whole lot of shit. Mm -hmm. And... You don't know us very well. We have the worst luck known to man and woman. We could be driving in Polito with the roof down, having cigars, and we'd end up upsetting the biggest gangster in the city because we're smoking his favourite cigar. Honestly, that's how our luck goes. Mm -hmm. We have really bad luck. 
Admittedly, sometimes we really don't fucking help ourselves, but that's the way it is. But we have yeah. awful luck. But we're just sat down grinding now to reap. I don't like the fact that these big boys are rolling around with fucking guns, with connections, with drugs. I want to be up there with them. Yeah. And I think we all share the same interest. If you want to do a heist, you have to be a big, big fish here to do a fucking robbery. So this is one thing that I'm going to like say in regards to this. Nothing to do with anything we just talked about. The reason why those big like gangs are so wealthy and so powerful and have so Come much on. shit is not because they're doing like city jobs it's because they've created their own business like they're either selling computer parts when they was needed or they're selling furniture and all yeah that. yeah That's yeah where all their money came from to be to be um, totally honest with you bud we probably have more money than most of the biggest gangs in the fucking city they have nothing Bella, did you get his phone, by the way? yeah I've got his phone. they they have you. nothing but they have the guns they have the stuff we we are tiny tiny fish tiny yeah. and anyone ever fucks with us it's easy and we start gradually step by step we're getting to a position where it, a call can be made of oh, do you know what this little interaction we've had with them it's not worth a war and life gets a lot easier But you, as an outsider yesterday, and I'm not trying to reverse your words back on you, but you seemed more pissed off yesterday than all of us, and you're not even involved at all. Do you know what I mean? You it, you were yeah. the one that made me fucking think how fucking bad it was. Because that was specifically on the police thing. And yeah, but it's bad. Yeah. It, yes. And I wanted to get the, like point because that yeah that, that's like and you for me it's something that i would never do and that's like a personal thing and like and everyone this, but this is what i mean like you and i i'm just speaking openly i'm not trying to defend yeah, myself maybe i am but you're saying i've got no empathy and you're saying we have to write a rule okay i could be stubborn rather than going yes but it's almost laughable that i have to announce that do you know what but Where you I'm... have to because it happens. Yeah, but you, yeah, I know, but that's just how fucking you need crazy to stop it is. But because once you say but, anything you say, I'm just like, what? Yeah, but it's just mind boggling, cause... Bella. But everyone else said the rule thing, though, so why not just say, okay, guys, yes, it is a rule, unwritten, whatever, just don't fucking do it. Do you know what I mean? It's not hard. Like, yes, I'm sorry it's that like... you have to do it. It's fucking stupid that you have to do it. But at the end of the day, if it gets the point across, it gets the point across, doesn't it? Which is, as long as it achieves the end goal, it doesn't matter exactly. how you can get there. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it won't I fucking agree. happen again, will it? Like, I no, agree. It's like, yeah. you know, it's not a thing. But just, it's the fact like, that you're going to my sub story now. Must, like, fuck off with that bullshit. You know? Like, look, the, the unwritten, like, okay, it might be obvious what, like, Mentioning it is like no, I I agree, I agree. The end goal is complete. It's like mentioning it, it like it, it points across, like it gives yeah. like yeah. the fucking person like yeah you. hundred okay, percent yeah. I'm not, I'm not and, supposed to do it. Yeah, I that think it helped Phil Vass to see as well that like you know he yeah. did fuck up genuinely. I'm happy he admitted that. I'm happy. I'm not turning yeah. that. And I I was happy to resolve everything. There was resolved. I mean, what he done yesterday. This is what we're not happy about the police thing. We're not happy about. Mm -hmm. And I was trying my best to not revert back to it. Sometimes I had to. But yeah. the point is... I s and the trouble is, I don't want to play the sympathy card. But that's my best pal in this city. Yeah. I say to everyone... Out of everyone I know, if there's one person I trust, it's him. For him to turn around and say, I don't trust you as much and you ain't a friend. You tell me any gangster that's not going to stab you where you fucking stand. In this environment... Being a gangster, though, is just see your friend and you hurt my feelings. I think most like friends would be the same. And then he's going, oh, kill me, kill... We never yeah. even mentioned kill me. It has to be so dramatic. When we're here to have a conversation like adults. Whether we bicker, we argue, we're doing it like adults. And we're never going to fully agree. Yeah, but you just, that's you, exactly right. And um, the reason Bella. why you said before was, you know, well, why was I so mad yesterday? Is because I wanted perfect. to get that sort of point crystal clear, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, that's what I'll... And I've been praying for the last 24 hours that he was going to tell me he rung the fucking ambulance. I was praying 
that he would come down and say I rung the ambulance. I respect him for telling the truth. Respect that mass, but he just said it so proudly as if I phoned the police. Uh, it's just crazy that he doesn't see an issue with that. And his defence was, oh, well, they didn't get ya. But I think YR's pretty pissed off because it was against him. Yeah, and he really understands. Anyway. Yeah. But the, the thing, the point is there is I think it's best to eventually agreed upon that. The, the, re the real reason is, is that whatever the issue is that he's got, he's not able to explain it. He's just kind of saying hurtful things that he knows will get under people's skin. I'm sorry, but he comes here saying we're big hairy ass men with hairy balls. If he can't turn around to us and tell us to speak everything and he holds it back. I'm sorry. Yeah. Call me no. a lack of empathy. What I don't care. If that's no, no. the case, I, so be not, it. Yeah, not the point I was trying to make at all. It, it's just sort of... That, that um, is his problem. I'm not babysitting him. I'll be his friend. But he ain't telling him to give me his feelings. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we bicker like fuck every single one of us. We say horrendous things sometimes. You get over it. And this all stimulates from petty stuff. Whether he takes it seriously or not, so be it. But th this, is yeah. how, this is how people break down over one. When it, it, the reason wasn't to be broken down. It wasn't for internal conflict. We come here and we sort it out. But for him to turn around and say he doesn't trust me as much, that, that's not nice. And how the fuck can you trust someone that says that to you? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. He's then snitched on his mate. He's attempted to stab him. He's then told me he doesn't trust me. He doesn't see me as a friend. And the big brother thing's a load of fucking bullshit. Whether he said something in anger or what, he would have sent it. What if he didn't see me as a friend? He meant it, and then now he wants to recover from it. It's like he's sending like a lot of mixed signals. And I, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you said it, Yr, because you were right. Everything's okay on his terms. And that's that's the problem, isn't it? From what I've been seeing. Yeah, unfortunately. I gotta know you guys well enough to have an opinion. I'm just sort of just... Chip in all you want, I'll take an, out, an outsider opinion. It's perfect right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, to be fair, I it's just... It's very helpful because you've only seen the situation, so you comment on what you see. Yeah. It's... If I wanted him gone, he'd be dead. And when I, I say gone, I mean it. gone, I mean if I wanted him dead, he'd be dead. Not If I wanted him gone out of the group, do you think I want to fucking kill Sylvester? No. It's the last thing I wanted, and then when I was told this information yesterday, at the end of the day, it's mainly pointed down to my decision. That pressure is put on for me from nothing that I've really been involved with. Yet, I almost come across as the bad person. Do you see what I mean? That's not a decision that I yeah. want. I guess so. It's just... How do I say this? <clears throat> like, over time, since, like, the fucking beginning, you've been, like... You know, like, besides the friendship, like, kind of been charged, like, the entire time. And you know how people, like, would think, like, yeah, the person in charge is the person that makes the decisions. But... If, I think Mine. it's cousin is. I'll take it. But like, <clears throat> uh, in a way, it's gonna be fucking hectic. Either you make the decision, decisions, I make it, John makes it, or you know we have a fucking it, vote it, or anything. It's still gonna see, be it, bad, no matter what. I'm gonna say, and I'm in charge, so I can. If you disagree, you disagree. You have to have someone in charge. You have yeah, to. Yeah, of course you do. Hundred um, percent. Even, like... e even a partnership that even struggles, but everyone's input is still taken in. If you're being a fucking idiot, you're being a yeah. fucking idiot. You can turn around and tell me I'm being a fucking idiot. I'll take it. Yeah. But you... Yeah, but like... you know mm. what? I don't know. I was gonna say, no, no, never mind. No, say it. Just say it. Say it. Say it. it if you still it, like it. care about Sylvester Cosby. 
because uh, Bella thinks that since that whole thing, like, he's just lonely, you know? And it's just been a while or something, you know? I wanted to say that we should call him or something and try to fuck around. I don't know. Just trouble is, John, and don't take any disrespect. I You're... know, I know. I'm what? Just... Here, just say what you're gonna say because you're too. You're like too. Amused. You're you're not a nasty man. You're in an environment just, that doesn't suit you, and you're doing pretty well in it. But you're you're not a nasty person. You're not tough. I'm sorry, and you don't claim to true. be tough. That is true. And you're very the sensitive. Thing, the thing is, uh, well, whenever I say I'm crying or acting like no, I'm I know, I I know you're not. I know it's a joke. But what I'm saying, you're you're a very you're a very sensitive guy. You don't want people arguing. Just because I don't need to show it doesn't mean I don't feel the same. Yeah. It's just... I like Sylvester. I consider him a friend. It's just I don't want him gone. So one thing I want to say to you, you consider him a friend. I consider him my best friend. Imagine mm -hmm. Sylvester turning around to you and saying you ain't his friend. That would make me sad. Just because I'm not stood here bawling my eyes out doesn't mean it don't hurt. He said it to me, and I ain't fucking happy, and I don't like it, and it doesn't make me feel fucking good. And if you say so be it, I'm stubborn enough, but maybe I'm stubborn you enough. You didn't do nothing to fix it, though, really, did you? You're like, walk away then. Walk away. And I know, right, least listen, as someone who has the walls up really fucking high, it's easier to push people away than try and fight for them. But sometimes you just have to do your bit. He's so not, saying, he's not a lover, away, though, just... Bella. Oh, fuck off. You're boring. <laughs> what? I'm not, come on, let's talk about it. I, I'm not fighting for him. I'm not fighting for him if he's saying all this shit about me and then decides to walk away. You see what I mean, guys? Kinda, I guess. Do you think I, do you think I, do you think I should chase him? I, I think you should call him. It's not like as a... It, it doesn't... For me, Kazi, right now, it, like, in my opinion, it would not make you a baby or anything. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... I don't care if anyone I thinks think, I'm a bitch for sorting out with a I, pal. I think you should call him and say, you know what? I was wrong. Okay? And we're all wrong. We, well, my, we well, my, what do you think I'm wrong about? I don't, I don't know. Tell me that no, just John. Tell me, I'm not gonna. You're telling me to ring him up and say I'm wrong. What am I wrong about? It's like I'm trying to say it so we can just. But then I'm not being it. truthful. I know. Okay, okay. I think this is what John's trying to say. You worded it really wrong. Yeah, that's. I couldn't say it, but that's how it kind of worked. What telling him to walk away? Yeah. Because I get what you're saying with, I don't fully trust you. Yeah, I 100%. If he said that, I was like, oh, that kind of hurts right there. I don't fully trust you. Uh, it's just, like, saying walk away and such, you know? It's like, that's your friend right there. And, it, like, what Bella was saying is, like, he's just been lonely. Because me and Wire has been doing our own thing. Trying to make the money, and then you was gone for like two weeks, so he's kind of like mixed feeling. Right a... I hate putting an argument for everything, so I'm trying to shut my fucking mouth. But surely he's fully entitled to join you. Well, we were doing the fucking Mosley shit. Yeah, uh, he did not want to. He did he... not want to do it because it was boring. That's what he said. Okay, but he st he still could have joined you. I know. It's it's not my problem if he's fucking lonely, is it, guys? We offer him, welcome him, arms for anything. So why should he feel lonely? And then now I seem to be upsetting everyone. You, it, it's I'm not upset at all. It's just I'm trying to. Yeah, but then look at Bella, and I'm more inclined to sort things with Bella because she hasn't done anything. She's just pissed off. But do, do you know what I mean? It's got nothing to have my walls up or stuff like that. It doesn't mean it doesn't fucking hurt. If I had my walls up, I wouldn't stand here and say it fucking hurts to hear that from a friend. Yeah. 
the end of the day, it was me he said it to. Yeah. And that's the guy that I see the closest. It, yeah, no, that guy is fucking... Dumb. You're not... You're not me, Cosney, and I'm not you. If it was me, but I would give him a call. We'll just talk on the phone for a good while and see if we wanted to do something. To, like, try to break the ice and, like, try to bring it back and, like, try to get that trust back, you know? You know what? Next time, it's going to have to be, like, you and him and no one of us. Yeah. To be honest. It's, it's uh, fucking... It, this is now, like... A personal matter, and it's gonna have to like be between you two now and fix the shit. It can so do now, it yeah. Like... It can do well, now, but the... it... everyone had. Well, yeah. Bella and that guy didn't necessarily need to be there, but a big thing involved you. And we are a group, yeah. so for me to go, oh, I'm the big leader, I'll deal with it. No, we deal with it together. Yeah. Yeah, but. Right now, yeah, the thing that's like between me, him, me fucking, and the foreign police, yeah. First of all, just to even get through that, we need you guys need to fucking talk and get your fucking yeah. shit together. I, in my uh, opinion, I, I don't really care about that situation right now. It's in the past. We can't do nothing about but it. it. So, but yeah, I, 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 like, I mentioned it. But yeah, listen, guys, it. listen. All right, I interrupted because what he said fucking hurt. Understandable? Uh, yeah. Because I said he was fucking lying, bullshit. So I said, all right, I tell you what, I'll shut my mouth. I acted out of anger because what he said hurt. Sorry. Sorry it fucking hurt. So I said, I tell you what, I'll shut my mouth. And he goes, no, no, I'm done. I'm, you're going to... Shut the fuck up and say it. So how, how's the conversation going to go again? Because I interrupted him, but it's okay for him to do it to us. Look at when YR went to speak and he started screaming at him, saying, oh, it's my turn, shut your fucking mouth. I never once started shouting at him, telling him to shut the fuck up. But you, you're allowing him to speak to us like that. Do you know what I mean? Did, yeah, at one point, did we, did we get aggressive with him? At one point, did we shout at him, tell him to shut the fuck up? Do you know what I mean? Mm. We, we didn't do that to him. <laughs> it's... Oh, this is gonna take a few more fucking... Days. How do you resolve it now when... I said spit it out? I don't know. I just really don't know anymore. This has just been a fucking shit show. Ain't it just? I feel like every cor like every fucking corner we've been taking, talking, fucking, anything we do has been a shit show. Let's see what Betty's doing. I bet she didn't you, answer. You don't fucking remember this goddamn Solomon situation. Not really, no. But that's also been a fucking shit show. That's done, isn't it? You banged up in the fucking house, shot in the head, or whatever happened with the head. It's done. Let me see if she... Hello? Hello? Are you gonna come yeah. back here, please? No, I'm having a nice, lovely walk with my brother. Because I'm not... At the end of the day, I'm not... You haven't got an issue to walk away from, so... I don't feel like a bitch ringing you up. Oh, fuck's sake. Jeez. That's good for you. Anyways, I'm going for a walk with my brother. I'll see you later. I'm not falling out of here. I just need a minute. Okay, all right. I'll speak to you later. All right, bye. What'd she say? She said she's going for a walk, she's not falling out, she'll speak to us later. Okay. I'll leave her to it. You want me to be completely honest, like brutally, from a, like a, from a scale of 1 to 10, how brutally honest do you want me to be? 10. Alright. Uh, this ain't against you, but it has to be fucking mentioned. It seems like you and Sylvester, anything you say or do or think always turns out to be a fucking shit show, no matter what. Yeah, maybe it's your words, maybe it's how you do things, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. It's like 
I always come through here, and every single time I hear, yeah, no, what a fucking fighting. Oh, yeah, no, uh, there's a problem with this guy and that guy. I blindly follow you guys, but, like, in a way, it's just, it, it's probably going to get me fucked. It's going to be the end of me. It's going to be the fucking death of me. Why? What do you mean, why? Again, as I said, doesn't matter that you or Sylvester, anything you guys say, do, fucking think. It's like you guys are fucking made for each other, but right now, you guys are fucking butting heads. Literally, oh yeah, we're, we're very, we're very similar, very similar. Yeah, very similar. Very. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah, no shit. And we're very good like, to each other. Like, all of us together is very good to each other. But, like... It's just this situation. But, like, yeah, okay, butting heads and getting heads and stuff, but what is it gonna take? Like, what is it gonna fucking lead us in the future? Please tell me. Please. I'd say this is probably the right first. Now, this is probably, well, this is the, definitely the first time we've had a proper, proper bust up. Yeah. Something like yeah, something in the lines like this. Yes, but like I'm not saying that. I'm saying like anything that you like. I'm saying shit like maybe fighting other people. That's been happening way too many fucking times. It hasn't been that bad, has it? Though, really, it really hasn't. Recently, no. Previous, very much yes. Oh yeah, but we are dialing yeah, down previous, all of yeah. us. Yeah. And you two We're don't get to fucking dial down. Yeah, you two don't get your backbone up, and me and him do, and we we are very loud. We are very similar. Yeah. But most of the time, it's always over petty stuff, isn't it? Yeah. But unfortunately, yes. The the trouble is when we when me and me and Sylvester came and we first met. Violence wasn't the answer, it was talking things out. And look at that, that's a prime example of what happens just then. There was no violence, there doesn't need to be any violence. But in Los Santos, people go to violence very quickly. And we, we learned very okay. quickly that it's also a case if you can't beat them, join them. And we can do both. But we would much rather talk it out. But sadly in Los Santos, it's a case of who does who gets to who first and as fast as possible and it is the life i'm afraid that this it is the life you're in just because you see it around us doesn't mean everyone else isn't arguing and fighting and people have wars all the time you don't trust me i know out of probably other you two i know like back like beforehand yeah trust me I know. I know what it is to fight. I know what it is. It's just, you know, I've never had like a... Only big thing is I've never had a uh, proper like fucking drama TV show scene kind of like this shit where everyone's now like fucking going and shit. And just butting heads. I'll tell you what right now. Do you, do you want to try to bring it back where you and Sylvester or, like, a third person is with you just in case something bad happens. Or with each other to try to make up. Or what? What do you What do you want to do? Being, being totally honest with you guys, there's nothing I'd want more, but is it too fucking late? And you... I know you're going to turn yeah, around and not, say... It's some, never too late. I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that. I, really? I know, I know. But the thing is, call him up right now. He hasn't got a phone. You've got it. No. No, he does because his his whatever phone he just threw. I'll tell you right Don't now. Don't tell me it was, wasn't his. It was not. Fuck his off, bit. I'll well, tell why you would right now, why would you do that? Well, I guess that's a right hint now, that. Uh, I'll tell you right now. That's a hint that of just phone, fix this fucking shit. Yeah. That phone, whatever phone I have right now, or Bella has it right now, it does not have my number, your number, or YR's number. Even Bella, it's it only. I don't, I don't know. It's do, some random ones. Do you know what? Do you know this trouble? You guys don't take offense. I think you're pretty chill and stuff like that. But that means he left notes before he came here because he doesn't trust us. I think he has his other phone on him. I don't know. Maybe no. He would have. He that would be his backup phone because his real phone will say he'll leave a note for himself because I know him very fucking well. 
call him similar. I know him well. But he'd be leaving stuff to say what happened. When I wouldn't kill him. Well, calm right now. So it's not too late. I'm just saying. And say what? How to make up? I don't fucking know. I'm trying my S best here. Guys, stop putting shit on fucking Twitter, honestly. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh. Let the world know there's drama in this. Tip fucking top. What did you mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's, a fucking that's, some, face. that's some fucking <laughs> playground <laughs> bullshit right there. <laughs> that's some playground bullshit. I'll call him. Try to call him right now. I'll call him now. And yeah. say what though, chaps? I told you to come. I told you to walk away. Now, please come back. Yeah. No, it's like fucking. It... Hmm. Hmm. It's a bad situation, hmm. but we're trying our best. Hmm. Hmm. What to say? If I can, I don't know, just tell him, uh, this time me and you need to have a conversation. How, how about come here uh, and tell him what you really think of me? Because he clearly doesn't he's like gonna, it. He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna say that shit over the phone. No, you, see, that's your problem. You word things really bad. Oh, I, yeah, I'm awful with it. I, yeah, just, I agree. Just yeah, tell ex him exactly. that you word things terrible. Fucking awful. Just, okay. It's just like you you suck at saying stuff. Sometimes. Oh yeah, I, I'm really bad. You at do. It. You just just fucking and just he, mention he, that, but like like just mention that like yeah you fucking you suck dick. I fucking. I did. I didn't say anything. I didn't mean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm not no, gonna like, tell yeah, him and lie. That's the thing. But no, but that's the fucking truth. Wait, that is the truth though. You didn't like you fucking word shit horribly. Okay, you said shit that you didn't mean, and now he, but he took it like I did, I, in a fucking sort of way. Like I didn't I, say stuff that I didn't mean. Walk away, like okay, if I were, if I was fucking, if me and you had the banter, and you said walk away, that shows that you just don't give a fuck. Yeah, he he wanted you, it like he wanted you to care, Cosmi, but when you said that, it's like you're like, oh well, you don't fully trust me. It's like. You, you ever you ever say, seen the you ever seen the film Get Rich or Die Trying? No, I don't watch oh. films like that. I need no one's that. ever seen Get Rich or Get Trying with Fifty no. Cent. Why would we bring a movie up? Oh, because if Fifty Cent, if you knew when 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 Fifty Cent gets enrolled with a big gang, one of the main rules is show no love. Love will get you killed. Hey, guess what? This ain't no fucking movie. <laughs> it fucking is! This is Get Rich or Die Trying. And if you can't agree on that, fuck me how many times we've been stabbed over money. Get Rich or Die Trying. Show no love, love will get you killed. No, we haven't been showing much love. I'm not here to show fucking love. Do you think I come to this environment to show love? For this once, Cosby, do it for your friend that you consider a best friend, okay? This once, just try it. Like, when, when, like, before you went on holiday, you were honestly not having a bad time. You weren't as angry, as mad. You was having a good time. Just, just pick up, just, just go see him right now, call him, whatever. Hang out. Try, try your best. Deal with it. Hug it out. That, that's, that's the best. Go rob some fucking. I don't know. Just go. Yeah, rob go. Sunny we, we, G6 go we go. We go. We can go rob some G six. You think you, can, you would like? You guys can go rob. I want to go fucking eat. <laughs> go eat. But we can go rob some stuff. Okay. Do you want to do that, Cosby? Where we have something in plan. We joke. We do this. Do that. Okay. You understand? I'm all for that. Yeah. Okay. Call him up then. But you don't. Hang out. Chaps. I I I know. I know. No. 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 Us. Us. Chaps, you don't have a fucking bust up. 
You you don't just, just have fucking call them. God damn it, you, chaps! You make listen, stuff. brothers. You are, you are being uh, see. This is your problem. You're being stubborn. Well, but so we have we a bust you. up. You say all that shit. Oh, do you want to go rob sanitation together? That's backwards <laughs> as hell, boys. <laughs> That's fuck. Come on, you're laughing because you now you've heard it back. You know how fucked up that is. That is true. That's Thank like, you. That, uh, that is, that's that is true. It, 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 Thank you. We, we, we can do point. to like, like talk and be like, okay, we're gonna do this. Yeah, we're like, gonna talk and just look, hang out. Like, you know, it's like talking. Yeah, look, it's like, it's, look, it's like talking about doing the things that we used to fucking do together. You know, it lightens the fucking mood. Like, it, big it's time. either it's either we try now or we 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 lose them forever. That that's what I'm saying. Hmm. We, we we had a big scuffle, yeah, but we can make up from it, no matter what. And if he doesn't want to do that, we tried. You you got to understand, we tried. We tried to make up for it. If he doesn't want to make up for it, there you go. There's your answer, Cosby. Would you, would, be, would you be satisfied with that? At least you tried, you know. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. You bring. You can bring him. Tell him to come here. Oh. No, you. You have you, to do it. You have to fucking do it. Like don't. And we'll don't we'll, fucking... we'll okay. kind of we'll kind of like put. That because you in. you can stay here because you boy. It's not like you disregard you boys. That's that's the way I see it. Are you ringing him? Who are you ringing? Let me talk to for a minute, okay? <laughs> you've never, you've never been in a gang before, have you, John? No, this is the first thing, and yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure our friends I'm stay together. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you hang around with Sergio for a day. Yeah. Do that. I want to hang and, out with Sergio. And you'll honestly. come back a monster. Honestly, maybe. Please do it. I, but right honestly. now, honestly, honestly, be honest with you. The only people that I I'm gonna I'm gonna ring, ring him now and see if he's about. And I'm gonna Call pay. Him right now. I'm gonna pay him to show you the fucking. I don't think he'd be awake. If he's awake, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna pay him to turn you into a gangster. Because I can't do it. You can't do it? What? I can't turn you into a gangster. Let me call. Who? Hey. You can't ring up Sergio and say turn me into a gangster. No. <laughs> Which phone do you have? He has like two phones. Who? Hey. Vesta. Uh, I don't know. I'll ring him. I'll ring him. I'll 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 do what you asked, okay? I'll do it. I want. I do it for me. I'm doing it and... for you. I'm doing what you asked, and if he doesn't comply, that's on him, okay? We agree. He might call back, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm doing it for you. All right. If he calls back, you pick up too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Deal. He hung up. There you go. Oh God damn it! There you go. Because I knew he'd do that. Text him. <coughs> John? I've done what you asked, brother. I know. That you're doing so much for me right now. But... And I and the, I know him more than any of you. Yes. I know what he's like. And I'm not chasing I him. I tried to call him. He hung up like a kid. I made the attempt there. Well, if he if he was to call back, will you answer? I'll, should should I show him the same respect back? Hang up the fucking phone. Uh, <laughs> this is a big headache for me right now. Big I headache, don't tell man. you. You know how stupid I am. This big headache. Can you be as honest as possible, John? I'm trying my I'm trying my best right now. I, I'm. I, I, I tell you what. I'll t I'll do another thing for you, John. 
I'm trying, I'm trying. If he Thank rings you. back, I'll answer, okay? What about a little text, a little smooch? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Come Monday, you're spending the day with Sergio, all right? For me. I'll do, no, I'll spend two days with Sergio. Oh, you ain't gonna last two days. I, I'll last two days. If you won't. Him, I'll, Sergio I'll, 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 will turn you into a fucking machine. I I will I will last two days with him if you text him. You and won't. You're sorry. No. Sorry for what, I, John? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Just, fuck you. Fuck you. You're telling me to say sorry. What for? I don't. I'm just, no, I'm just, no, big man. I'm just, Come on, no, hit hit me with it. What should I apologize for? Us being us. Us being stupid. No, look, because everyone seems to... Look, you're all pissed off at me now. No, I'm not pissed out at you. I'm not really... But everyone else seems pretty tense and morale is down. Bella's stormed off. So and when we got the house too. Yeah, fucking awesome. But what? What I have know. I done in the wrong you, here? You didn't do. Now nah, come on, tell me, anything. tell me. You no, no. I'll tell you right now. You did not do nothing wrong. It's just I must have done. I'm not a fucking superhero. <laughs> I wish you. Uh, it's just the way you word things. I guess that's probably why people. But I meant what I said. I told yeah. him to walk away because I'm not hanging around with someone that doesn't trust me. Whether we yeah. can go into the technicalities, oh, I said I don't trust you as much. That that shouldn't even come out of someone's mouth. Yeah. I'll tell you what, since since I since I said that stupid thing, three days. You won't last three days with Sergio. We can do it now. He's Call not he's not I've oh. just called him, he's not awake. And you're sure. fucking honestly, Sergio will ruin you. There ain't no one more gangster than fucking Sergio. He ain't awake. Fuck. I actually did want to hang out with Sergio. You wouldn't last. Why not? He's a fucking lovely bloke, mate, but he takes no fucking shit. He's a proper gangster. Proper. Well, with Sergio, tell, uh, text him say, whenever you're awake, call me. I got a person to grow up or something. Oh, he's gonna fucking destroy you. You know, like when you watch some documentaries of like the Mexican prisons. Yeah. You're gonna be like, you're gonna be that kid going in there to hang around with like the Mexicans in prison. <laughs> it's uh, it's called Scare Straight, by the way. It's cool, bro. It's called Scare Straight, by the way. What's that? She scared so oh. much. You t what's that going? Who's that, Bella? It, 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 uh, yeah, that was Bella. I was just fucking seeing what was going on. It, it's called uh, Scare Straight. Fine. It's so. Just... Girl, not girls. Uh, so people don't like kids and stuff. Will like get so scared straight that they won't go to a life of crime. Yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen you to you. So you want you want to know something funny? Wow. I remember wow. watching wait, the fucking scared straight. The, the, oh yeah, that the, the one's a fucking banger, man. Honestly, this I just I, I just have have you been in gangs before? Wow. I've been in a crew mm -hmm. with a bunch of friends. A while back, kind of miss him. I can't lie. I was. We, call, I, we, we called ourselves the Creamy Boys. Oh creamy God. Cool. Oh Which God. To pick? <laughs> I was. I was yeah. saying to John though. You know? <laughs> I said to John, "This is the first time in this sort of life," and he said, "Yeah." And whether we no, like look, it... only, like only fights that me and my previous boys had was with someone that wasn't even involved with us. That's the only fight that we've had. It's like we, we just, uh, some of us, uh, we didn't like this one certain guy who wasn't uh, fully involved with, with us, but he was like, you know, friends with us and shit. He was doing jobs. i tell you what, chaps, I've got an honest question for you, okay? I want an honest answer. Someone's at fault here. Who is it? Okay, that's that's the that's a bad question to ask. That is, that is really a bad question to ask. I want the answer. Someone's at fault. Who is it? You can see the silence because right now this fucking question is is pretty dumb. Dumb. 
Yeah, it's stupid. Why? What do you mean? What? Like, okay, us just pointing now the fucking finger. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. The 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 issues has been with Sylvester, but at the same time, it could have been resolved. You know, it, it could have been resolved, but. You worded it out badly. He is just stubborn and just, you know, doesn't want to fucking see full reason. Yeah, he solved some of the reasons. But I fucking that. tried, didn't I, brother? You tried. We tried. It didn't work. And now we're going to have to take a different fucking approach of what we just did. I've just rung him as well. John asked me to ring him for me. I rang him. He hung up the phone straight away, which I knew he would. I, I think, I think he's just so it. sad. That, that's what I think. No, we just we just gotta give it time, man. We'll give it like a day or yeah. two, and then we got to go talk to him. That's unfortunately what it is. All right, I can't lie to you. I'm still fucking hungry, so I'm going to beep. I'm gonna be a fucking merman. I'm finding someone to turn you into a gangster. Okay. What about Speedy? <laughs> you went last with Speedy. Honestly, I would. He's not awake. I wish.